Hacksaw, originally directed by Mel Gibson and stars Andrew Garfield. The story goes like this. Andrew Garfield plays Desmond Doss, this kid from Virginia who decides to enlist in the army because he wants to serve with his fellow countrymen. There's only one problem. He refuses to kill anyone during basic training. He refuses to pick up a rifle because it's against his religion. He does not want to kill anyone. He wants to save people. This is does not go over well with the people in his company who see him as being a coward. I mean, he won't pick up a gun. Because of this, he ends up going to trial, but in the end, he ends up getting off and is allowed to travel to war to the Pacific Theater without carrying a gun. As the film progresses, though, we see that Desmond Doss is anything but a coward as he commits some great acts of heroism on the battlefield. I thought the first half of this movie was okay. It was good. Uh, it's a lot of setup. There's a lot of character-driven moments with her, which are great. Hugo Weaving, who plays Andrew Garfield's dad in this movie, gives a great performance in the first half of this film. But it felt a little bit to me like a TV movie, right? It kind of had that Hallmark, you know, channel or Lifetime channel feel to it. It was good, but it was a little clunky, and it just, <coughs> overall, it felt like a lot of setup to me. Once the film got to the second half, though, that's when this movie really became something great because once the character Desmond Doss and his company actually go to war, this film becomes something unbelievable. I really, really enjoyed Hacksaw Ridge. The second half of this film has some of the most intense, visceral, frightening war scenes I've ever seen. Saving Private Ryan has kind of set the landmark or benchmark for war scenes. I think this movie gives Saving Private Ryan a run for its money. I mean, the war scenes in this movie are terrifying and they're so well directed by Mel Gibson, the stunt choreography, the cinematography. its He paints a very, very beautiful but very bloody painting in this movie. The war scenes in this film, which all take place on this ridge in the Pacific Theater called Hacksaw Ridge as the Americans take on the Japanese, it's incredible. It's some of the best war scenes I have ever seen. And Mel Gibson in general just did a, such a good job of directing this movie and keeping this movie focused and even though as good of a job as Mel Gibson did, this movie really falls on the shoulders of Andrew Garfield, who plays the main character Desmond Doss, and he does a fantastic job. In my opinion, he gives one of the best performances of the year. I feel like in the hands of a different actor, Desmond Doss, this guy who refuses to kill anyone during the war, who refuses to even touch a gun, could have been a very cartoony character. He could have been a very sort of you know, theatrical, whatever character in the hands of a lesser actor, but Andrew Garfield does such a tremendous job of adding naturalism to his performance. Just the little thing, his smiles, his eye twitch, the things he does with the character, he makes him feel so endearing and so likable, and it's his character that drives the film. He's the moving force of this film, and without a performance like Andrew Garfield gave in this movie, it wouldn't have been as good as it was. From the very beginning, the first half too, and the second half, Andrew Garfield is just incredible. Like I said, Hugo Weaving's in this film as well. He gives a great performance as Andrew Garfield's father. Hugo Weaving, I don't think has ever given a bad performance, even in those Hobbit movies where he played Elrond. He was still good, He's and he's really good in this film as a father who went to war during World War I, and who does not want to see his son go to war, both of his sons go to war. And he's fantastic in the film, and Vince Vaughn's in the movie, and when Vince Vaughn showed up, I was a little worried, because I thought he was going to try too hard to be something he's not as an actor, but he played both sides very well. He gives, he's funny. There's a scene where he really rips into his, um, his soldiers, his privates, and it's a funny scene, but he's also very serious at certain parts, and he does a good job of balancing humor and drama, and I thought it was a very strong performance by Vince Vaughn. And Desmond Doss himself is such a fascinating character, this guy who refused to kill anyone during war, but instead went and saved the lives of multiple people. He was a medic. The scenes where he's going out and saving people, and he just says, please, Lord, let me save one more. And then he saves someone, let me save one more, tries to save someone. He keeps trying to save people, and I thought he was a very engaging character. And the stuff he did, and all this is based off a true story, is just incredible. Uh, just a great character in a film, but even a greater person in real life. I really enjoyed that character and the way Andrew Garfield played him and the way he was portrayed in the film. <clears throat> the film to me just had, it's cliched, yes. I, I would say this movie is cliched, but it's a movie that I think uses cliches to its strength, it uses them appropriately, uh, it works. This movie works, it's cliches work, it has a lot of heart. So overall, I really enjoyed Hacksaw Ridge. I thought Andrew Garfield gave a great performance. It's a great character-driven film with some of the 
best war scenes I've seen in a very long time. Mel Gibson knocked it out of the park when it came to the war scenes, and the overall directing of the movie was a very tight film. It went by very fast. I really liked Hacksaw Ridge. I give Hacksaw Ridge a very solid 8.5 out of 10. What did you think of Hacksaw Ridge? Let me know in the comment section down below. And if you like this review and you want to see more and you're not already, then please subscribe. Thank you so much to those who are subscribed and who stick around and who watch these. It's been a while since I've uploaded a video. I was in vacation in England. It's nice to be back. It's nice to see a movie and review a movie. I'll have some more for you guys, hopefully sooner rather than later. Thanks for watching, guys.